Hello, kia ora, g'day. I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with your Australia-only forecast for the next week. And this update focusing on the severe weather risks. So we're not going to necessarily touch on every part of the country, but mostly monitoring where we've got some severe weather. And there is a significant storm that is expected to form this weekend around the Great Australian Bight. So we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's kick off with today's uh, animated uh, satellite map showing thunderstorms and the rain radar as well. Good to see some rain here in the green coming in around New South Wales and South Australia, some heavy falls coming through and the odd thunderstorm in the mix as well. The blue you see, that's cloud. So a lot of cloud around. Uh, some of that is high cloud, the further up into Queensland you get, so pretty dry with that stuff. But you can see some wet weather, mostly west uh, of the Great Dividing Range and plenty of showers coming through Bass Strait, windy westerlies through there as well. We've also got a couple of showers around the western side of Australia or the southwest corner, but not a huge amount, not yet anyway, and pretty calm elsewhere. So on the situation map, you can see that low that we mentioned yesterday, that's why we've seen a bit of wet weather come through to these dry inland areas and pushing into New South Wales as well. So there's some good news uh, for those of you that need it. This shows temperatures. Southerly flow coming right through the middle here behind that low, right up into uh, the Northern Territory. Obviously very warm around the top third of the nation, but cooler air flows all along the southern third of the country and ballooning out around parts of New South Wales as well. So your temperatures are going down over the next couple of days. May not be a dramatic change, but enough. So on Wednesday, not much in the way of severe weather around the country. Uh, we do still see some windy weather around Tasmania, northwest winds blowing through there, uh, and some coastal showers around Victoria and South Australia. We might also still see a few thunderstorms forming around New South Wales in that northern part. Not a huge amount, uh, sorry, central sort of northern areas. Not a huge amount, but just keep an eye on that one. You never know, you might get a thunderstorm where you live. No severe weather risks elsewhere. On Thursday, in the purple box, so we're going to use the purple boxes in this update to kind of show you where the severe weather risks are. Thursday, it's mostly Tasmania again as another wintry westerly comes through. Not quite, um, you know, it's a nor'wester for you on Wednesday and it tilts more westerly on Thursday, which means the temperature might drop a degree. Nothing too big. Heavy rain on the west coast, there might be a bit of snow at the higher tops of the mountains. Otherwise, uh, those eastern areas down towards Hobart, pretty dry. And that windy weather brushing coastal parts of Victoria with a temperature drop and the very southeast corner of South Australia. But elsewhere, apart from the risk of a couple of thunderstorms, maybe around Queensland, we're not really seeing much in the way of severe weather risks. Uh, easterly winds also picking up a little bit around Western Australia, but that's below severe weather. On Friday, Tasmania, still in the severe weather box as you've got those very strong west to northwest winds. It actually could be a couple of degrees warmer on Friday, so there's a positive for you. Uh, but further up on the border of uh, Queensland and New South Wales, we do see some thunderstorm risks or just some heavy rain. Could be 30 or 40 millimetres in there, which is not too problematic, but it's just that thunderstorm risk is worth keeping an eye on. Otherwise, again, no severe weather in other parts of Australia. As we go into the weekend, all eyes are on what is happening south of Australia over the sea. Severe weather continues in Tasmania, or at least the severe weather risks continue. Westerly winds, uh, gale force, maybe severe gale, heavy west coast rain, and again some snow likely at the highest levels. It brushes uh, Victoria, so Bass Straits in that windy zone as well. But again, you go further up and you're not seeing severe weather risks around the country, but you're seeing this stormy stuff deepening to the south, the air pressure dropping. So when we go to Sunday, look at this one. 958, that is incredibly low air pressure for so close to Western Australia. Worth keeping an eye on this on this one, but the modeling does vary. So it depends on which computer model you look at. This is the American modeling. European modeling actually has it a little bit closer, but more stretched out. So different kind of shapes. So just for consistency, we're just using this update, but it could move around a wee bit. Severe weather risks are becoming quite widespread in the sense of severe gales or gale force winds with westerlies blowing across Western Australia and north to northwesterly winds picking up around South Australia. Elsewhere, the severe weather risks aren't really there, but this is worth monitoring because of the, the gales, squally showers, hail, thunderstorm, all of that kind of stuff in the mix for Western Australia. And then we get into Monday and that severe weather risk uh, expands further to the east. Now we're seeing Victoria and parts of New South Wales getting those very windy, 
north to northwesterlies, and they could be gale force, maybe severe gale. You have to keep up to date with the Bureau of Meteorology. They do the official warnings for Australia, but we're just highlighting uh, the chance of those severe weather warnings being issued as we go in towards the end of the weekend and the start of next week due to this very big storm, very powerful storm directly south of the country. Rainfall's not through the roof. I mean, it's, it's probably helpful rather than hurting most of you, but I think the windy weather may be perhaps the, the more problematic side of the system. And we go through one week from today, that's the placement of the low, that could still move around a bit. The further south it goes, uh, the fewer severe weather risks there will be, but if it goes further north, the modest forecast here, that will increase the severe weather risks. So gale force winds are possible over a large portion of Australia here on Tuesday. We've got colder air flows returning to Tasmania with a chance of snow, heavy rain around northern and western parts of Tasmania, heavy rain on the around the mountains, especially on the western side of those coming in and around the ACT. Uh, and strong winds blowing all the way along from west to east as a mostly as a westerly flow or a west to northwest flow. So there we go. That is the severe weather risks for Australia for the next week ahead. We're monitoring what's happening up here near Fiji, uh, an out of season low pressure zone. But because there is high pressure nearby in the New Zealand area, it just might limit that one. But if you live in Norfolk Island, it's worth monitoring uh, what is going on up there as well. That's all from me for today. I'll catch you again tomorrow, Wednesday, with our next Australia-only update.